going on? Just sitting here, getting ready. I just tried to do like a natural makeup thing and I think I got it. I don't do super natural makeup very often at all. So every time I do it, I like keep going and I don't stop. And today I stopped and I got somewhat of a natural look. I'm kind of proud of myself. I'm just sitting here watching uh, ladylike. <laughs> I've been so obsessed with all of their videos lately. Like I used to watch them a lot and I'm gonna be honest when uh, Safia left or Safia, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing her name right. I kind of quit watching because I was just in love with her and then I realized they kind of branched off and made their own channel and I've been like binge watching these all day. But right now I'm just getting ready. I need to go get changed. We're going to Brock's family's house tonight just to hang out for a little bit and have some dinner stuff so it's sunday i actually just uploaded today's sunday vlog a lot of you guys loved the idea of a sunday vlog and a once a week vlog if i get this under my belt and i feel like i can do more i absolutely will but i think this is definitely a good starting place because you guys know i always tend to neglect this channel when i get really busy with my other channel so i think i can handle like for sure one day a week i'm trying to work out a schedule for my main channel as well so i'll give updates here and there once i've kind of come to a agreement with myself on what i feel capable of doing things like that are in the works um just got done getting ready i don't know what brock's doing he just opened the garage and my new room is right above the garage so i can hear everything so i think i'm gonna just pick up the makeup that i just used i'm trying to keep this room like really clean um, Lacey did take a nap today, so we're gonna go wake her up here in a minute, and then we're going to go over to his family's house. What you playing with, Lacey? Ah! <laughs> we got her little car going. Goes around. Probably can't hear anything I'm saying on there. <laughs> what tell tell everybody what's it do? What's it do, Lacey? You turn that on? Yeah, and you can move it. Whoa! Wait, I'm going to get back. We're watching the Saints game. Had some gumbo for dinner in true New Orleans fashion. And uh, we're just hanging out. Oh, you want to see? Take a look at this that we had for dinner. This is amazing. We love this. Hey Daisy. Ooh, buddy. Look at that with the rice. And then look at dessert. A little cheesecake, a little cake action. So that's gonna be good. We're just having fun. Uh, look, Lacey. I'm gonna get you, Lacey. Hey, go turn your cars off, baby, when you're not playing with them. Okay, now I'm gonna get you. No. I'm gonna get you. Now I'm gonna get you. Whoa, watch out, Daisy. No, don't. No. Oh, that's so cute. Let me see, does the extra point matter? Let me see. You, you would be at 30. No, you'd be at 30. 30. 52 you seconds. No. Nope. Yeah, you still won't pass it at 3. Oh. Yeah. Oh, come on. They hadn't called, they hadn't called that kind of stuff all night. Right out of here, you're dead. No, I wouldn't have flagged on that. They were both holding each other. This is for the game. Come on, Saints. This is it. Come on. Everybody in the stands is standing. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Game. That's it. That's it. Yes. Well, the clock should keep running, right? Yeah. Yeah, the clock clock is for the rest of the game. There you go. Woo! And the rest of the closer to the Super Bowl. Woo! Go goes to Monte Cadona. Three five five. Three five five. 
girl. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but there is a lot of fog out here. It's hard to tell, but they're like. I feel like you can almost see further on the camera than you can see. Anything. I know, but there is a know. like you can't see anything. Yes. For some reason, it is a lot easier to see when I just look through the viewfinder on the camera. But in the car in here, it is hard to see. A few little packages stashed away that I thought I would do a little PR kind of unboxing haul thing right now. I'm gonna just go through them real quick because there's maybe five or six boxes here, but the first one is this new collab with um, Urban Decay and Kristen Leanne. I actually just posted a look and um, a tutorial on this. I posted the video on YouTube and I have like a product breakdown and everything on Instagram. So you guys can check out my thoughts on this there, but here is um, the packaging and then I will get these palettes out and give you guys a quick little look at them This one is the beauty beam palette and I've only used this one time, but uh, I used the two on the right They were really really good. I'm gonna be honest the other highlighters I've used from urban decay haven't been Super great by any means not at least compared to a lot of the other ones that I use and love on a regular basis but this one is really really good so um, that one is the Beauty Beam palette, and this packaging is really fun. And then this one is the Daydream palette. I think all the packaging on the outside is really cute. It kind of looks like pink frosting. Here is the inside on that. So I just like that it's a small, tiny, little, compact palette. And then this one is the one I feel like everyone's talking about. This is the Kaleidoscope palette, and we have all these really fun colors in here. So I used the blues a lot of the blues for the look that I did. You guys will have to go check that out when you get a second. I'll have it linked in the bottom bar down below. That look is on my main channel and then also on Instagram. So definitely check that out. And then here are the three lipstick shades up close. So very cool. Thank you so much Urban K for sending this to me to try out and congrats again to Kristen on this collab. Okay, the next box I have is from It Cosmetics and they had a today's special value on this little kit on QVC here recently. I forget exactly the date, but I think they have already done it. So all of this stuff I actually have already. They're so generous and they always send me um, any QVC deals that they have going on or just like reloading me on products. So I do appreciate that. However, I do already have these things. So I'm gonna probably save these all for a giveaway. All right, the next box I have, ooh, excuse that messy brush. <laughs> the next box I have is from Benefit and uh, they sent over some goodies. Let's see what this is. Um, the new Professional Pearl Primer. Oh, I saw them promoting this on Instagram. I am excited to try this. Okay, so yeah, they just sent over a cute little care package with their new Professional Primer in it, which I love the original, so I'm sure I'll really like this because I do tend to like illuminating products. And then my favorite roller lash, you guys, I've been so into this lately. This makes my lashes look so good 100% of the time. Like, this mascara never fails me. If I ever am wearing mascara and not wearing falsies, most likely it's this. <laughs> Thank you so much, Benefit, for this little care package. I'm really excited about this. The next box is from Pixie, and I actually have already opened this up. I couldn't wait because when I opened up the brown box that it came in, I saw this, and it had me intrigued, like, right off the bat. They sent this cute little, like, locket and key... And you can like put it in and undo it. I can't remember which way. There we go. And then inside, it kind of looks like a little storybook. Open to reveal the key to glowy skin. So we have some rose products here. The Rose Caviar Essence. This is for all skin types. Hydrate, brighten, nourish, and soften. And then this one is the Rose Flash Balm. And this is a three-in-one formula. It moisturizes, primes, or you could use it as a hydrating mask. So interested to see what these are all about and try them out. And then over here, it like actually looks like a little story time book. So if you want to pause the screen and read that, feel free to. Otherwise, I'm just gonna open it up. We have some of their new Matte Last Liquid Lips, which all of these are super beautiful, kind of nude-ish colors. Remember how I was telling you guys that I think I'm gonna save 
um, little things like this to like stack and use for decor, this will definitely be a box that I hang on to because this is just way too cute. So thank you so much, Pixie, for sending this over. Okay, and now we have this month's boxy charm. So if you get this and you don't want a spoiler, I would say just skip ahead, you know, a little bit just to be safe. <laughs> so I am going to open this up and see what we have here. This theme is Rock 2018. Oh my goodness. This looks like some good stuff here. This is a matte lip paint from Galactic, and it looks like that is the color right there. So very pretty. Let's see if your girl can open with one hand or not. So the retail on this is $23. I didn't realize Galactic was that expensive. I thought they were a little more like drugstore, but maybe I'm wrong. That is the color. Ooh, that looks really pretty. All right, the next thing we have is a luminizing primer from Dr. Brandt. This is also in the pores no more like kind of lineup, so I'm excited about that. I really love a lot of Dr. Brandt stuff. They have a really good like microdermabrasion little um, skin exfoliator thing that I am so into. It's really good. If you guys ever get the chance to try it, um, definitely do because it works amazingly. And then we also have the It Brow Power. I really, really love this eyebrow pencil and I don't think I have one right now. So this came just in time. And moving right along, we have this Glam Metals. It looks like a little eyeshadow palette maybe. Let's see. This is from Crown Pro, which I always think of Crown Brush. Oh no! It's broken. That one is like the prettiest color too. And that happens sometimes in shipping makeup. Honestly, it happens quite a bit. Thankfully, I know how to fix that. So I'm probably gonna just pour a little alcohol in that and press it down. But this is the palette. I know it's a little messy, so it's kind of hard to see. Um, I'll pull that up just for a second so you can see the colors. Lots of pretty shades. This is like almost an entirely metallic palette. I can't quite tell if the black is metallic or not because there is some eyeshadow fallout in it. It looks like it could be matte, but everything else is shimmery. So there is that. And finally, we have this palette from Pure. This is really pretty. I never, ever, ever, ever use shimmery blushes like that, but that might be a really pretty eyeshadow. Same with the bronzer, but for a highlight, look at that. It looks a little chunky, but I also dug into it pretty hard. There are those. They look a little chunky, but again, um, it's got like this textured pattern on it, so that also might have something to do with it. Thank you so much, BoxyCharm, for sending this month's box. This was a really good one. I can't remember if they gave me a code or not. They always just send these to me. I'll have to look through my email and see if I have a code. I don't think I'm an affiliate. I think it's just like a discount code, but Whatever I find, I'll put in the description box down below. <laughs> okay, the last one is from Sky Organics, and I think this is kind of like a relatively new concept that they've come out with. They're sending these bubble boxes, which they have bath bombs and then shower steamers and a bubble cake. I've used their bath bombs and they are so heavenly. They smell really nice, super comparable to Lush for sure. I think that one is the little bubble bar, and these all smell so good. Oh my gosh, that one smells like straight up candy. That one smells amazing. Then we have this little thing, which maybe that's the bubble bar, I don't know. I need to look at the back of this package and see. Ooh, that one smells good. That one smells like maybe lavender, something else. And then we have a bath bomb, which pretty self-explanatory. Not exactly sure what that one smells like, but it smells very good. <laughs> and then we have one more thing. That's the one I'm smelling that smells so good. That smells like Love Spell to me. Like, remember that Victoria's Secret body spray? Oh my gosh, that smells exactly like Love Spell. That was my jam in eighth grade, and I am still not over that scent. It smells so good. Okay, let's see if they have anything to say like on the bottom of this box about what's what. Okay, let's see. Bath bomb, shower steamer. They're not really saying what exactly each thing is. So that might be helpful. Thank you so much, Sky Organics, for sending this over. I am like super stoked. I really want to go take a bath right now. I've had a very stressful day and a bath with a bath bomb just sounds so amazing right now. So anyway, that's actually it for this little thing. And I think that's the end of this vlog. Sorry this was a little short and not exactly what I had planned for like a weekly vlog thing. Brock actually got really sick this week and my mom ended up having a surgery. So this week was a little bit 
um, off and unusual. Next week will definitely be better. So thanks for hanging in there with me and I will see you guys next Sunday.